More carnage on Wall Street today as banks warn of significant losses as they're exiting positions with large U.S. hedge funds after a hedge fund of Tiger Cub had a $20 billion margin call and was forced to liquidate over $20 billion worth of stock in companies such as Discovery, Viacom, Biodu, and a couple of other giant companies. This obviously led to a big crash in those stocks as we see Discovery is down over 40% in the past week. Viacom is down over 50% in the past week. And Biodu is down over 21% in the past week. Giant, giant block orders being sold because of this margin call. And if you guys don't know what a margin call is, essentially when your account drops under a certain amount and you are using margin, which is borrowed money or leverage, you have to meet a certain requirement. So for instance, if my account dropped under, let's say $50,000 and I was using a certain amount of margin, I have to have that amount of liquidity in my account or that amount of equity in my account. If it goes under, I have two options. I can either A, deposit more funds or B, sell stock. The main thing people do is they sell stock, especially on giant things like $20 billion where you don't have $20 billion just lying around. So you have to sell a boatload of shares. And that is why these companies just got absolutely slaughtered when they were forced to sell these shares. CNBC was able to interview a trader who has to be remain anonymous for obvious reasons, said that Credit Suisse along with Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and Deutsche Bank all forced the Cagos to liquidate a number of their positions. CNBC reached out to this capital, but calls and emails were not returned. Um, an equity analyst told that there could be more exposure to the Arcagos in the banking space. So this is obviously pretty interesting. So essentially what happened is these, these ones right here, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, Deutsche Bank, Credit Suisse, they basically forced this other hedge fund, Arcagos, to sell their positions because they were in that margin call. And like I said, when the broker demands money, you have to put it up. If you don't put it up, they can force liquidate positions. So that has actually happened to me before. When my account took a big hit, they sold my positions without, I didn't have a, I didn't have a say in it. Like they need that money, they need that uh, liquidity. And if, if you don't sell the positions or add the money, they're gonna do it for you. So essentially that's what they did and they just sold a boatload, a big block order of these stocks. I remember a couple days ago, or on Friday, this stock was literally down over 30%. Um, so it was obviously rough. You know, you look at that, it's just a brutal, brutal drop. So literally down 34% in one single trading day when they just sold a ton of it. And I mean, these are big companies. I mean, Discovery, Discovery Channel, Viacom, I mean, this is CBS. Everyone watches CBS Sports. You know, these companies just took an absolute hit, you know, from Friday down 31% as well. They just sold, you know, just a boatload of these shares. And, you know, it could be a pretty good time to get into these stocks. Um, you know, since they're just down so much, you see a P ratio of 12 um, on CBS. So, you know, if the, if the carnage continues, this could be a great opportunity. And obviously the NASDAQ took a big, big hit this morning, um, you know, with all this stuff coming out. Initially, started off fine in the first couple minutes and then was really down big, you know, over 1.3%. NASDAQ still down about 80 points now, um, with VIX spiking up as well. But it was just, it was a rough day. We have the yields increasing but, you know, this is a big thing because it shows that even hedge funds, you know, these professional traders uh, can still manage to be hit with giant margin calls as us regular traders do. And it shows that, you know, risk management clearly is not in play here um, for some of these hedge funds that, you know, should be using risk management. They're just, they're not doing that. This incident with the hedge funds has also caused the VIX volatility index to absolutely spike up today. It's up 9.7%. At one point, it was up a lot more today, over 15%, um, but it's pulled back a little bit since then. Um, but it just, it's more fear in the market. It's more uncertainty and, you know, stuff like this obviously does not bode well for the rest of the market, seeing big issues with even hedge funds struggling um, with significant losses. And, you know, you're seeing big losses in tech as well. Um, and I, th I think that's one of the big issues today. You also have the yields rallying, which never helps out. But I mean, if you look at it, uh, the past month has been pretty rough for the NASDAQ and tech stocks really being sold off pretty hard, about 4% in the past month, as well as big growth names like Tesla. Uh, Tesla has not been doing too hot this past month. It is down 
approximately 15%. So it's obviously struggling with that year to date. I mean, this stock from its highs is down 30% from its highs. So, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty, especially in some of these, you know, big, um, big growth stocks. And they're just, they're just taking big hits right now. You know, uh, Amazon's down a lot. Palantir, I actually added a little bit of Palantir today. You know, that's, that's down pretty significant as well. Palantir is down, um, you know, a pretty hefty amount from its highs as well. But, you know, it's just, it's one of those things, unfortunately, where, you know, these things happen in the market. I'm hoping things are going to recover, but, you know, right now things do not look too good. Um, I'm personally buying the bottom. I think this is an absolute amazing opportunity to get into some of these growth stock names, um, preferably big tech, you know, companies, Apple, Amazon, I've been trying to add to my positions, but, you know, these ones have been getting hit hard. I mean, you look at Apple year to date, it's, it's down a lot. I mean, from when it started the year off alone, it's down... 7% from its highs, it's down, you know, 16%. So that's a pretty significant drop off from where it was. Um, but I still think these are great plays. Obviously, my main one right now is Amazon. Um, but that, that stock's getting hit as well. I mean, you know, it's down for the nine, I mean, nine months ago, over nine, almost 10 months ago, the stock was 3,200. Um, so it hasn't done anything. It's actually lost 5% in about nine and a half months of trading. So this is my top pick. I also really like Baba. Baba, it was had some China influence and got hit because of this issue. But you know the fundamentals remain the same, and it's still a big pick for me as well. Um, so Amazon, Apple, Baba, Palantir. You know people are selling these off. They're nervous. They're buying banks at all time highs, and I just I think that's a dumb decision in my opinion. I think you buy companies that have been beaten down hard, and that's exactly what I believe is um, the play right here. So I'm going to continue to buy up um, these tech names. I think they're great great bargains and great plays long term and you know it just shows that you know even the pros make giant mistakes and get hit with giant margin calls of 20 billion dollars um so it'll be interesting to see what happens with all this but some of these stocks can be a good play uh, especially cbs i mean with the p ratio of 12 i think that bodes pretty well for them it has recovered since then um from the lows of about 43 exactly to um to now that's about a seven and a half percent increase so, you know, you bought at the bottom, you're doing really well, but overall, obviously, these companies just took a massive, massive hit, but, you know, fundamentals remain the same. These companies are pretty solid. I don't know why they were sold off so hard in good year-over-year growth as well, um, but yeah, I'm going to be keeping an eye on these stocks. If these things fall back to where they were at like 43, I'm definitely going to pick up some. So anyways, guys, hope you have a great day. Hope you're not in a margin call are uh, struggling with any big losses today. I know obviously the indexes are falling pretty hard except for the Dow, which continues to rally every single day. Um, but I think that rotation is going to be over pretty soon. I think the boring value bank stocks are going to start getting what they deserve and start going down. Um, they've just been overbought so much in my opinion. They're at all-time highs. Um, I just don't see that as a good play right now. So anyways, guys, hope you guys have a great day. Hope this didn't affect you too much. Hope you weren't holding um, any of those stocks that got sold off. But anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.